Hello, you guys. Hello, you guys. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 Whew. We are about to make some more granny squares because I am making a shirt. Well, I'm making like... A crop top how are you guys doing how are you guys doing today hi miss Barbara how are you Thanks for coming in. Anybody in here crochet? Does anybody in here crochet? Your girl has picked up crocheting. And I haven't put it down. I love crocheting. How you guys doing? Where is everyone from? Where is everyone from? All right, so we're going to have a topic. You're from North Carolina. Awesome. How's the weather there? We're going to talk about um, Vivica Fox and her statement about Taraji. Okay, guys? So, I actually made a full video on my YouTube um, so make sure you guys go and subscribe there and look for that um, video to come out, okay? But this is my live form of this topic. All right. So, all right. So I came across this story, just like you guys look for us to give you the tea. I look, I'll, you know, other places to give tea as well. And so um, it's nice. Okay, awesome. So... I had come across this interview of um, Vivica Fox, and she was basically talking about, uh, or the interviewer had asked her about her, um, basically, she was like signing autographs, and the interviewer asked her, you know, you know, what does she think about the situation of Taraji uh, P. Henson, and her saying that they're not getting paid, uh, what they're supposed to be getting paid or whatever and she simply said you know that's good for her you know to say her truth and good to see people supporting you know the ladies supporting each other you know because you know this happened around the time when um the color purple was coming out 
which in my opinion guys i never seen it to be honest between you me and the doorpost i've never really seen the original okay i've seen bits and pieces but to me that movie is just such a trauma movie um i didn't i never wanted to support that but anyway she basically said that they weren't getting paid um she you know uh brought up the fact that uh her you know during her career i'm talking about taraji you know she wasn't paid what she felt like she was um you know do now the thing about it is is this you know I agree, like, as far as if you feel like you're not getting paid your correct amount of uh, money or whatever, or you're not getting the benefits in which you should be getting, then I don't think you should accept the work. Once you accept the work, okay, once you say, okay, I will do the job, you accept whatever payment they you know they told you you were gonna get and so for you to uh let me count these stitches y'all i'm sorry three six and for you to then uh while promoting a movie babe uh close that okay <laughs> um you know while promoting the movie and then you say oh well um I didn't get paid and all that. And then later on, she came out and said, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, that, you know, that the movie didn't get what it needed to get because, you know, I said whatever, what I said had nothing to do with the color purple. Well, to be honest, I don't think anybody wanted to see a new rendition of Trauma. I think it's a, a, a considered a classic movie, even though I don't think it's a classic movie. I think it's a movie that was pushing some things uh, that today doesn't need help to be pushed, if you will, <laughs> you know, because we're going through enough, if you will. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. But I think that's why the movie probably didn't do as well as uh, it could have. And of course, with Taraji said, you know, and people standing with Taraji, of course, people probably don't want to. Uh, support um, that because she was saying that the people behind that movie did not pay her um, what she was due and more than likely if she if she said she wasn't getting paid what she was due then more than likely the other two ladies in that movie probably did not as well so anyway uh, Vivica Fox had basically said that she was good you know like yeah that's good for them and you know, um, but over where she is, she's fine. So she did more of a candid, um, what is it, uh, interview on this podcast. And she further went into what uh, she meant on that. And from what I gathered, and you guys can actually watch the video or the commentary in which I talked about it on the YouTube. Um, but what I think from what she was saying was, you know... My issue, she said, I, she said that she's never experienced X, Y, and Z. Okay. She said she's never experienced that. Maybe she has a different um, team. Maybe she has different management. Maybe she has different, um, you know, ethics or, or morals or whatever, or business wise. She has different ways of dealing with things. And it, if you see her on something, then it was already, you know, clearly talked about. You know, as far as payment, and it was understood, and, and boom. She said that she's a workhorse. I identify, I don't like referring to myself as a workhorse because I know that is a negative connotation. Thank you guys for the hearts. Um, But I do work a lot. I do work a lot. And one thing I don't do, I try not to do, is I try not to publicly say my grievances or what I feel I should be getting or... I don't do that because when you ha when you genuinely love to do something, you know how people say, well, you know, I love this so much, I'll do this for free. Like like this, like crocheting. I love it so much, I literally do it for free. I don't sell anything yet. I don't sell any items. I don't make anything for the public. Right now, I am loving crocheting. I'm doing it literally um, for free. My crocheting channel today, Crochet, is not monetized yet because it's literally a baby. 
and I'm building it, but I'm going to put videos up on there and I'm learning how to just respect the fact that I'm learning my skill. God granted me this talent to be able to catch on quickly and be able to uh, share it and things like that. And so when you when you pick up things that you genuinely love, then usually money money will come. That's that's literally a blessing to be able to make money um with what you love, right? I love crocheting. I love talking about celebrities. I love talking about topics because you know, to be honest, what I've picked up about what I do um and when you do what I do, you realize at least me um, you realize that celebrities are human. You know, who hasn't had a time where you were at a job and everybody was like, well, so-and-so did this to me. So I'm going about, I'm about to quit because the boss said this or this happened or whatever and you should quit too. No, I should not quit too. Right? Now, I was one of those people, I was a bandwagoner. I wanted people to join in sometimes or I would feel some type of way if, if, if I was mad at someone of, of, of management and they didn't join in with me or they still work there. I mean, a friendship that I, I, I think of is Tisha Campbell and Tashina Arnold, right? Tisha Campbell was going through whatever she was going through and I'm sure she expected her homegirl, her ace deuce trace, her ace boom coon. I feel like she probably expected Tashina Arnold to, to leave with her. But that's just my opinion. I'm not sure if that's true. But I'm sure that's her girl. She probably expected her to leave too. And she didn't. She didn't leave. And I'm sure that probably put some discourse in the relationship. But look, everybody can't quit when you want to quit. Everybody can't complain when you don't, when you complain. Let's just keep it real. Vivica Fox. Vivica Fox has a whole setup with Lifetime. If you guys did not know that and you see her, you go on Lifetime and you go on Lifetime Network and you, and you see her movies on Tubi. She has a nice little comfy, cozy contract where she produces movies and acts in them with Lifetime. So why would she uh, ruin that for herself? Why would she get on a bandwagon and, and, and go in there with uh, Taraji P. Henson, with, which, you know, who doesn't have that same setup? And who even knows if that's where her love and talent is for her to be with a company, with a network, um, doing X, Y, and Z, right? That's, that's, her, that's what Vivica Fox is doing, and then Taraji's doing her own thing. You get what I'm saying? So, no, I don't expect just because you're going through something, someone has to share your, your same vibe with that, because that may be your journey, right? You know? Um, okay. Yeah. So, she said, another thing is, and I like to tie things up. When I go live and I do live things, I like to make it different than my um, my commentary where I, I'm just a voice and you guys don't see me. But one thing you do not do is you do not complain to the people who is giving you the opportunity. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? I did this a long time freaking 20 years ago to be honest wow i'm that old that i can say i did something a score ago well a score ago i went and i complained about my manager to the owner of the company okay because back in the day you could work at a telemarketing company telemarketing companies could be a big huge I, I worked at a place called mci and i also worked at a place where it can be a little small old mom and pop shop and that's where it was Honey, I went and I complained to the owner about who they hired as a manager. I was young, I was dumb, I was full of anger and full of, uh, what is it, full of, um, I just wasn't experienced in life. I hadn't, probably was just early 20s, had just gotten married, just gotten on my feet as an independent woman from my parents' house. 
and it was some things going on that I did not like. And so my husband, which is a little older me, than me and, and a little more experienced as far as working, he said, well, honey, you don't complain about the boss to the boss. You know, they were both basically in the same situation as far as management. He's not going to, you know, you know, say anything bad about his, his homeboy, even though later on that person got fired way after I quit that I heard. They, they just stopped working there. But my point is, you know, Taraji, she went and she publicly said things on the tour of, uh, what is it, The Color Purple. With her co-workers there, with the producer there, which is the old lady, right? We, we don't even want to say her name. Those, you know, some, some, some big wings, honey. Big wingers, honey. You know, you have to have a lot of um you know a lot of umph to go up against those two people but with god for you who can be against you okay but you know god does give us some 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 wisdom and so you just understand if you're going against the goliaths of the of the industry just understand you're gonna have you're gonna have to have your ducks in a row you're gonna have to basically you know be prepared to not be uh, offered anything else you know and so, or for a while, because a drought may come, but honey, God will always restore. You know, we all go through that. You know, if you take a stand on something, just know that whatever you had going on may change. And that, that that's why I love doing celebrity news, because the thing about it is celebrities are human beings. They have grievances. They have issues. Just like us regular people, the difference is really uh, the fact that more people know their name and their bank accounts is a little bit more stronger than, than you and I. You know what I'm saying? But they still are human. They still need counsel and they still need grace and they still need God and they still need guidance and they still need rest. I mean, they're humans, you know what I mean? And so with that being said, if you're going to go ahead and take a stand against something, just understand that, like I said before, things are going to change. You're going to look back and some people may, people that you thought were cool with you are going to turn their backs. That's what our girl Monique, okay, I just finished that three hour video, that three hour interview took me about, about a day, but it took, you know, I couldn't finish it all in one day. And it was some, it was some good tea in there. And so I would really suggest you guys go. And go to Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp's channel, and watch that video. Take about a day or two to watch it. Or if you want to watch it all in one day, that's cool too. And I have to go back and watch it because I think I missed some things. Because she said some things about D.L. Hughley um, that I wasn't even understanding. And now I have to go back and say something. Okay? In fact, I have to go and make a video, another video, just like this. I talk about D.O. Hughley. Uh-huh. But Miss Vivica Fox, uh, she said that basically when we complain, we become looked at as difficult. So our girl Monique, she went through this, what, years ago, four or five years ago? She came out and she, you know, um, she uh, said something about, uh, what is it? The end, you know, the movie network and stuff like that. She said something about that, about her not getting hurt what she needed. And then she had, you know, problems with O and TP and some other people, you know. That's why you guys got to go and watch that that interview. She She went over all of that. But nobody stood up with her. No one stood up with her. Everybody was like, you know, shoot, even, even uh, what is his name, Harvey, he was like, hey, we... We, we of the brown skin, we can't, we can't, certain things we can't do. And so you have to know, okay, is this complaint really about this or is it something deeper? Those tears that Taraji publicly uh, shared uh, was serious. You know what I mean? And I think it's more than money. You know, Vlad uh, said, you know, what we're not going to do is sit here and feel bad about a millionaire talking about they don't have, they're not getting paid their due. You know, um, I don't know what to think about that. But 
I really do feel like, yeah, it is a little bit like I can't really get in there with you because it's like, sis, you 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 got more money than me. You you're more comfortable than I am, <laughs> you know. And um, who cares about a check if it's something else going on? And obviously, it is hitting you here in your spirit, and you know for a fact, hey, this is not good. Then forget a check and just take a stand and say, look, I'm not going to be on this project. Right? I'm just not going to be on this project. That way you, you, you have your dignity, you have, you have, uh, you know, your morals intact, you know, it's like you complaining after you took the check. Like they say with Jay-Z, Jay-Z complained about the Grammys while accepting a Grammy, you know? And so today, you know, when we stand up, we have to go back and we have to do our research and go back to the, the civil rights movement and what they did, which was very eloquent, very, um, what is it, ordered and, and very planned before anything really from what I understand. And I, of course, I'm, I just, I wasn't living during that time, but from all the documentaries and all the things that are out there, when they took a stand, it was planned. They already knew. When they boycotted the boy, the the bus, the the what is it, the the buses or whatever, the uh, Montgomery bus uh, system or whatever, they already knew what was up. They they went together and they said, okay, we're gonna not ride the bus. We're, we're I mean, they literally did not ride the bus. I don't know how long that happened. You can, guys can let me know below how long did they not ride that bus to basically um, uh, take a stand and it basically switched everything in that system and i'm sure it wasn't in one day they organized 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 okay and so i just feel like with taraji and what she did it was not well thought out it wasn't well organized it came out as emotional it wasn't business not one time and i'm not saying monique did not cry but not one time did i see monique boohoo publicly about payment she was on her business now did she cry to her husband did she cry to her her um her staff did she cry to people who knew her personally i'm sure she did but when she came out i mean you know she that's not what we saw we didn't see any weak points there she was about her business and that's what you have to do like people don't you know people don't care about your tears first of all an actress tearing up uh, you know, some people may say, hey, that, that may not be the best. You feel me? We, we don't know if we can vibe with that. But I do um, agree uh, with Vivica Fox in saying that, you know, when you do complain, and, and that's what my husband was telling me years ago or every day when I want to complain and say, well, why don't I have this? And why don't I? It's pointless. Do the job. And complain later. And eventually when you are, another thing Vivica Fox said was when she's a workhorse, she stays busy. When you stay busy with what you're supposed to do, you ain't got time to complain. Like my busy now is this crocheting. I said, I'm going to crochet on my videos because I don't know what's going on as far as this, this, and this. And I'm not going to even sit here and complain about it. I'm just going to keep making videos in Jesus name because I feel like that. I know that that's my calling. My calling is to make videos. Why? I've been doing it for eight years now. Eight years. Do I have a lot to show for it? You darn skippy I do. Uh-huh. Because a, a lot of the things that we earn are internal. A lot of people feel like success is from external things. Meaning, you know, success, you're going you're gonna to show it externally. Meaning money, cars, uh, clothes. Uh, designer no everything that I have earned is within here that's what it is and the only way you be able to see that is by what I do and that's why God says judge a man or woman by their fruits and when 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 God says man we are human so man is, is it, it covers all both of us guys but yes Judge a person by their fruits. And their fruits is basically what you see, you know, by how they live their life. 
And so one thing I can say about Vivica Fox is in the 30 plus years that she has been in the industry, Homegirl has kept her composure. She's, she's getting the bag. She writes books. And people respect her. I don't think like she had to do anything negative. You know, she hasn't had to conform. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. That's success. Once you have to conform and beg and make yourself, you know, look a little bit, you know, I hate to say the word weak, but I'm, I'm going to say depraved. Then you lose respect amongst people because people look to people like Taraji and Vivica and, and all of these actresses out here. They look to them as, hey, I'm, you know, they look like me and they're successful. And so when you go out there and you start complaining or doing things like that, it just basically makes you lose the, lose the, uh, lose your footing, if you will. Now. I am a wordsmith. I keep talking. This is what I do. This is what I get paid for. It's <laughs> a talk, 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 talk. All right, guys. So I hope that's helped you out. You guys let me know about what you think about Vivica and how she, um, and I want you guys to actually see the actual video that I placed on the uh, channel. So I wasn't like, I didn't play the video in this because this, these are two separate videos. Okay. Um, but you guys let me know what you think about Vivica. Should she be, you know, should she publicly say, hey, I'm, I'm behind it and, and put her bag down to pick up a cause? Or is she right to say, okay, that's good for her. You know, I'm glad she said what she said, but I am not going to get into it. I'm going to mind my business and I'm going to drink my water, mind my business and get to the bag and continue on what I have and good luck with her. You guys let me know what you think about that, and I'll see you on the next video.